the Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft features numerous tools to help pilots in the flight planning process. The pilot can interact with the flight management system using the MFC, CCD, and various bezel buttons. Flight plan information is primarily displayed in the waypoint list and flight management windows on the MFD. Additional flight planning information is displayed on the iNav map, the vertical situation display, and the primary flight display. In this video, we will briefly discuss the types of flight plans, as well as how to create a flight plan both textually and graphically. There are several types of flight plans, active, alternate, pending, stored, off-aircraft, and secondary. An active flight plan is one that has been activated. The last waypoint on an active flight plan should be the destination airport or the landing runway. The waypoints of the active flight plan are displayed on the waypoint list. An alternate flight plan exists at the end of the active flight plan if an alternate airport has been entered. It contains all of the waypoints between the primary destination and the alternate destination. A pending flight plan is automatically created anytime a change is made to the active flight plan prior to activating the change. The pending waypoints and legs are displayed in cyan on the waypoint list as well as the iNav map display. An activate prompt will also be displayed. Once this is selected, the pending waypoints become part of the active flight plan. Stored flight plans are flight plans that are created and saved in the custom database. They can be reviewed and selected from the stored flight plan list on the flight plan window. Stored flight plans do not contain departures, arrivals, approaches, missed approaches, or temporary waypoints. Off-aircraft flight plans are created with tools such as PC Primus Apex and placed on an SD card. The flight plans can then be downloaded to the aircraft. Once downloading is complete, the off-aircraft flight plans can be retrieved by selecting Flash on the Flight Plan tab. A secondary flight plan can be created in addition to the flight plan that is currently active. Secondary flight plans can be used to evaluate changes to the active flight plan, to change the destination while en route, or to enter the flight plan for the next leg of the trip. Secondary flight plans can be activated anytime in flight or on the ground. To create a flight plan, first enter the origin and destination airports on the flight plan tab. If an alternate is required, it should also be entered. After selecting insert, the destination is automatically inserted as the final waypoint in the flight plan. The en route waypoints can now be entered in the waypoint list window. In the After field, enter the name of the next fix in the flight plan and push Enter. The waypoint is now entered into the pending flight plan. There are two ways to enter an airway into the pending flight plan. Type the name of the airway and exit point, then enter it into the pending flight plan, or use the Join prompt. To use the Join prompt, select the airway to join. The flight plan will join the airway at the previous fix. Now select the exit waypoint. This is the fix at which the flight plan will exit the airway. Additional airways can be selected, or if the next waypoint is not part of an airway, close the window. All of the waypoints along the airway prior to the exit point are now in the pending flight plan waypoint list. Enter the next waypoint into the pending flight plan. After all the waypoints are entered, review the pending flight plan and activate it.
A flight plan can also be entered directly on the INAV map. Enter the departure and arrival airports on the flight plan tab and insert them into the pending flight plan. The lateral map has a cyan line connecting the cursor to the first waypoint listed in the flight plan. In this case, the first waypoint is the departure airport. The cyan line follows the cursor as it's moved. This is called stringing. Once stringing is activated, the waypoint list text field is displayed after the waypoint where the command was initiated. Using the cursor, highlight the next waypoint to be added to the flight plan and push enter. The waypoint is added to the pending flight plan. To join an airway from the waypoint, click on the Join prompt and select Airway from the drop-down menu. In the Join Airway box, select an airway and exit waypoint and insert them into the pending flight plan. Additional airways can be selected. If the next waypoint is not part of an airway, close the window. All of the waypoints along the airway prior to the exit point are now in the pending flight plan waypoint list. Select the next waypoint on the INAV map and insert it into the pending flight plan. Click on Activate after all the en route waypoints and airways have been entered. On the ground, if no winds or temperatures are entered, performance predictions will be based on zero wind and ISA temperatures. To manually enter forecast winds and temperatures, click on Cross and select Wind Temp ISA. Select a waypoint and then enter the wind direction, speed, and temperature for the waypoint. The ISA deviation is automatically calculated. Apply the changes to the flight plan and activate. The performance function recomputes and displays new predictions throughout the flight plan. Changes to the wind and temperature model also affect the wind and temperature assignments for every waypoint downstream of the edited waypoint. Once airborne, the winds and temperatures used for FMS performance calculations are a blend of sensed and entered data. During flight, actual sensed wind and temperatures are used for the present position of the aircraft. However, for waypoints 200 miles ahead, the wind data is a blend of 50% actual winds and 50% pilot entered winds. For waypoints 400 miles ahead, the wind data is a blend of 20% actual winds and 80% pilot entered winds. For more accurate performance predictions, enter the forecast winds and temperatures aloft for several waypoints along your route of flight. This has been an overview of creating a flight plan on the Primus Apex-equipped Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft. Please refer to the Aircraft Flight Manual for more information.